Welcome back, and I'm not going to sugarcoat this video. All I want to do in this video is replace my GPU and find out whether or not it actually affects temps and performance. So, um, yeah, let's jump into it. Now, the specific GPU that I'm going to be repasting is a 3060 Ti Eagle OC 8GB, the second revision. So, yeah, it's a relatively moderately powered system. Um, we've also got a Ryzen 5 5600, but that doesn't really impact the system that much, considering it's running at 0% right now. Okay, so for the temperature, you can see that we've stabilized at 69 degrees. Nice. We've stabilized there, and that was about after six minutes. And you can see over here, hang on, let me change this. And you can see over here that our temperature has stayed pretty stable. However, our clock speed looks a little bumpy to me. Personally, I don't like that. That's where we started the test. You can see that our clock speed drops due to the increase in temperature, yada, yada, yada. So yeah, it's definitely quite bumpy right now, and I'd like to see that stabilize just a little bit, in my opinion. So let's repaste the GPU. Also, fans were running at 100% so that everything's normalized. Okay, now we've got our GPU sitting here, and then on the side we've got our Arctic MX4, which I got for like 17 bucks off Amazon, and then some generic old thermal pads that I got for like, I think $8. Yeah, pretty cheap um, and not a bad price for a quick little repaste. Now, ideally when you're doing this, you wanna go in a cross pattern and make sure that the pressure is nice and even when you're going throughout. Um, this ensures that you don't misalign the cooler, damaging the silicon or pretty much doing anything. Now, the next thing I like to do is have a little drawing of my back plate and uh, just have little markers for where I put my screws just so I remember where they go, because if you do remove a screw and it gets put back in the wrong place, well, it's not ideal at all, because you can easily just go through PCB, destroy some trace, and then game end. Next step, all I need to do is simply pry the card apart from just about here, just slowly doing that. Okay, it's off now. Now, I just need to make sure that I unplug all the connectors. So, first we're gonna do the RGB, which is just sitting right here. I'm not even joking when I say this, the RGB connector took me 20 minutes to disconnect. Okay, so about half an hour of heaving away at one cable connection later, we have a broken clip. But that is fine because it's RGB. I'm sure the cable still works. The plastic has just um, broken off. So yeah, now we've got a bit of broken plastic and uh, yeah, hopefully the RGB still works. If not, that's fine. Now looking at the GPU die, you can see that it's pretty thin. It's a pretty thin application of whatever thermal paste um, gigabyte we're using. And you can see we've got thermal pads spread throughout um, yeah, it's pretty standard, pretty normal PCB design. First order is replacing the thermal paste. Now for this, I'm just gonna be using some isopropyl alcohol, um, and then after, I'm gonna be using a little Q-tip to get rid of any leftover thermal paste. Now it might not look like it on camera, but that is one shiny GPU die. Now before I reapply the thermal paste, what I do want to do is replace the thermal pads because generally those will be less messy than doing thermal paste. Now what I'm going to do before I peel the plastic off, I am going to cut it. Okay, so after a fair bit of work, we've now got all our thermal pads on, so it's time to add the thermal paste. Now for this, we're using the Arctic MX4. Um, it's really just the best cheapish thermal paste that you can get and it was on Amazon. And uh, yeah, so we're just gonna put a big blob of that on. Perfect. And then we're gonna use our spatula and just spread that around. Now it doesn't really matter too much if you get it on the sides and stuff because it is non-conductive. And uh, the more thermal paste, the better. But you don't wanna put too much on, obviously. And that to me looks like a pretty good thermal paste application. It's a little messy, but that's better than not having enough. Yep, 
everything looks good. So I can now reassemble the card and uh, see if we got a performance improvement. All right, how's it look? To my eyes, that looks really quite good and it looks like it's all making good contact. So let's chuck this back in the system and uh, run a benchmark. But first I gotta clean all this up, ugh. And the graphics card works. Even though I sort of destroyed that RGB connector, it still works and the RGB still works. So that's good news. So after running Fermark for 10 minutes, you can see that our GPU temp is actually lower. It's at 66 degrees. Previously, we were seeing 69 degrees. So that's actually a decent improvement of about 5%. That's pretty good in my opinion. However, is it worth voiding your warranty? Probably not. If we look at the temperature graph, you can see that it's definitely a little bit slower at reaching its final peak and reaching its final temperature. It definitely does take a longer time to do so. In addition to that, the clock speeds also seem to be slightly less wavy than before. They're still not perfectly flat, but you can't really expect that, especially not when you're running at full throttle. Overall, I'm really happy with the results. Three degrees might not seem like a lot, but in my opinion, that's actually a fair bit, especially if you want to do any sort of overclocking, undervolting, or anything like that. So yeah, the Gigabyte Thermal Paste is a little bit different, but that doesn't actually mean you need to repaste. I'd only recommend repasting if you've had your graphics card for maybe two to three years, and you're seeing performance start to shake a little bit, but not too much, and if you're comfortable with voiding your warranty. Alas, if you enjoyed this video, alas, the fuck am I? If you enjoyed this video, be sure to subscribe, hit the like button, and as always, I'm TechBiz, and I'm out. Definitely really happy with the repaste job, although I did cut myself.